It was a beautiful day. You could feel the heat from the volcano. I knew what could happen out there, but you don't believe it will happen. A holiday adventure turned deadly. I thought, this is it. We're going to die on our honeymoon. 47 tourists and guides trapped in the epicenter of the remote volcanic island of Fakari as it roared to life. I was really blown away by the stories of the people who were in the eruption, who survived the eruption, who found something in themselves to get out of this situation, which was so terribly harrowing. They were out there by themselves. So they really had to turn to each other to survive. The heat alone was just unbearable. The burns went through all my clothes. We were dealing with people who are going to die within the next hour or so. This was a stuff nightmare as I made it. The documentary called The Volcano Rescue from Fakari is both harrowing and inspiring. Through first-hand accounts from survivors, we get a sense of the sheer terror they felt as they faced Mother Nature's brutal force. I came to the realisation that no one was coming. If I sit down, I'm not going to get back up again. Jesse Langford's story really stood out for me, just this young teenage boy who lost both his parents and his sister. What was it like, Dallas, kind of listening to these survivors' stories firsthand? It was so moving um, and, and honestly we felt really honoured that they trusted us with their stories. Jesse was, is such an incredible human but that interview, I think all of us felt like that was perhaps one of the most powerful interviews we've, we've all done. He's an incredible human being and we all feel very inspired by his story and also we have great wishes for his future because he's somebody special. Uh, Rory, you had actual footage from the survivors to work with. How important was it to tell the story in that way from their perspective, you know, minute by minute, everything that they were going through? We were lucky to find and come across footage that's never been seen before. The visual storytelling of the film, I think really helps people feel what it's like to live through and survive, and in some cases, sadly, not survive an eruption like this. 22 people tragically lost their lives that day, while 25 survivors suffered deep tissue burns, a permanent reminder of the life-changing ordeal. Among the heartbreak, the film also shines a light on the courageous, quick-thinking locals who sprang into action, helping save the lives of strangers needing urgent medical care. At this stage, it is too dangerous for police and rescue services to go to the island. The authorities said they're on your own. Doing nothing wasn't an option. We're going to do it ourselves. Part of what is incredible about the pilots is that it was a split second decision. They didn't hesitate or waffle or call all of their various consults. They, they knew what to do. They jumped in their helicopters, grabbed a few supplies and, and went directly out there. And that instinct to help without uh, hesitation is, is really special and it's important to shine a light on that because we all need more people like that in the world. Not to point fingers, but it is quite crazy to think that tourists were allowed on an active volcano when you see, you know, what happened. So, you know, this is a tragedy that really should never have happened. Yeah, I mean, I think it's complicated. Humans are complicated, right? And it's such an extraordinary thing to see and to witness and be a part of this active volcano. You know, really the story here was in the face of this tragedy and in the face of all of these events going on around the world right now where you're really seeing Mother Nature kind of come at us pretty dramatically, that what we have is each other. And I think that that's what we learn from this story that is somehow feels very relevant and important right now. We are getting off this island now.